Today with Python, or sorry, with Blender 2.61 in this case, I'm using 2.61 in this tutorial, but should be same as 2.60, which is why I've done most of the other videos in. Um, we are going to be looking at using Python to list all objects in the scene. We're going to be listening, listing them to the terminal that we opened uh, Blender in. So this is the terminal I opened Blender in, and I'm going to start off just like we have in all the other tutorials. I'm going to open up the text editor, new text, create text block, we'll call it list.py. And I'll turn on all the formatting I like, not necessary, but useful, I think. And, of course, just like all the other tutorials, we're going to import the Blender Game Engine module, import BGE. And then we're going to say our current scene will be the Blender Game Engine scene. Uh, using the Blender Game Engine module, looking at its logic, and then we're going to get the current scene. And this is case sensitive, so make sure you have the capital C and capital S there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a for loop to loop through all the items here. So I'm going to say for x in and then the object we just created called scene we're going to look at all the objects and we're going to do a for loop here so colon and we're going to print the output to the terminal and we'll say x so now all we have to do is let's split this area here I'll change this to our uh, logic editor we need to hook that script to an object um, so that it runs. So we'll just click here, we'll say always. Uh, we're not going to enable uh, pulse mode unless you want to continuously be generating that list. And we're going to say Python script. And we're going to choose our list.py that we created. It should be in the drop down there. And now, let me see, we'll change over to here. I'll bring this up. We already got a message from something we did, but uh, we will now say P up here and start the game. And if I tab over to that terminal, you'll see that it says Blender Game Engine started, and then it ran our script once. And we have a cube, a lamp, a camera, and then a default cam. So let's go ahead and uh, escape out of that. Uh, we can also uh, add other objects. So I'll add in a Icosphere, I'll add in a UV sphere, and if we just press P, we can look at that again, and you can see this time when the Blen uh, Blender game engine started, it lists off sphere, icosphere, cube, lamp, camera, and default cam. I'm not really sure what that is, but it always seems to be there. It must have something to do with the camera, maybe, I don't know. So. Now that's going based on the object's name, which you can see down here, or in our lists up here, or in the object window, which is a good place to edit it in either of these places. So we can take this one called Sphere, which is our UV sphere, and we can change that to be Ball. And when I hit enter, you can see it changed it up here, and it also changed it there. And if we press P and flip over now, now you can see Blender Game Engine, uh, and it has Ball listed there. And of course, if you clone objects, so I'll choose an object and hit Shift D a few times. You can see by default it adds dot and then a number to that. So we got our cube, then we got cube one, cube well it's dot zero zero one, cube dot zero zero two, cube dot zero zero three, and of course you can rename these individually. I'll name that one box. And uh, if I clone that one now, I'll have box, and I'll have box 001 and box 002 and if we run our script we can hit enter there now um, I just realized this as I hit uh, the, the P button to start the game you can see our script actually ran a number of times there and the reason for that is because I cloned the original box which has the script linked to it so it's running that script for each one of those items uh, so for each one of those box our little loop ran that's why it's listed over and over again here um, 
So when you do clone an object, it does clue, uh, clone the logic bricks, which is very helpful in many cases, especially if you have create a bad guy in a video game. You clone it, you don't have to relink each one every time you want to add a bad guy into the level. So uh, that's it for, um, well, let's do one more thing here. Uh, we can also say here, we can add a string before this. We can say, how about a string after it? We'll say comma, comma? Am I thinking of the right language here? Uh, we're going to say is in scene. Now let's see if we get an error on that or if that works. So yeah, uh, I put an extra space in there, but you can see when the script ran, it says box 002 is in scene, box 001 is in scene. Um, so obviously you can uh, display different text and output through the loop. Just, I mean, it's, it's Python. Hopefully you're familiar with Python and basic loops and stuff before you start messing with it in Blender. But if not, um, that's how you do that. And there's an extra space here. Because uh, I wasn't sure, because some languages add a space there for you, some don't. I think Python, if you use a comma, it does. If you use a plus sign, it doesn't. I can't really remember. So really, I don't need that extra space there. Run the script again. And there you go. Camera is in scene. Lamp is in scene. Cube is in scene. So check out the links in the description. You'll be able to find the, uh, the playlist for all the videos in this series, as well as a link to the blend files I'm creating in these series, uh, including, you know, they'll have the Python script built right in. So thanks for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. Help support the site by going to filmsbychris.com forward slash Amazon. And I hope that you have a great day.